So I'm going to talk through some half-life calculations. I'm sorry about the crappy numbering, um, but I can't fit more on the screen, and I preferred question 5 to question 1. So question 2. The radioactive isotope sodium-25 has a half-life of 1 minute. So what fraction of it remains after 3 minutes? So what you have to do here is work out how many half-lives have occurred. Um, and because it's 3 minutes and 1 goes into 3 minutes 3 times, 3 half-lives have occurred. And then all you have to do, because you're finding out a fraction, is do a half times a half times a half to find that 1 eighth remains after 3 minutes. Question 3. Xenon 133 is a radioactive gas used for diagnosing lung problems. In 15 days, its activity falls to 1 eighth of its original value. What is its half-life? So, we need to work out how many half-lives occurred to get to 1 eighth. So what you need to do is... You might have to do trial and error, but you need to just do as many half-lives as you need to in order to get to 1 eighth, and the answer is actually going to be three of them. So, three half-lives occurred in 15 days, so how long did it take for one half-life to occur? Well, you just need to do 15 divided by 3, and the answer is 5. So, five days is its half-life. Question 4. The half-life of the radioactive isotope sodium-24 is 15 hours. A sample has a count rate of 240 counts per minute. Its count rate 60 hours later will be... Okay, so this time, again, we need to find out how many half-lives have occurred. So I'm going to do 60 hours divided by 15, and I see that four half-lives have occurred. So, therefore, after one half-life, 120 counts would remain. But there were four of them, so I'm going to times it by a half four times, and that is the same as 240 times answer, and that is 15 as my answer. So it's count rate after four half-lives have occurred, so I've divided 240 by 2, or times them by half four times, and I have got 15 as my answer, so that's 15 counts per minute. Question 5. A radioactive isotope of silver has a half-life of 20 minutes. A sample gives a rate of 6,400 counts per second at 9 o'clock. At what time will the count rate be about 200 counts per second? Okay, this sounds hard, but again, just use trial and error to work out how many half-lives have occurred. So I'm just going to do 6,400 times a half, and I've got 3,200, so I'm going to times it by half again. And I'm going to keep going until I get to 200. And actually, what I found here is that it has taken five half-lives in order to get to 200 counts. So all I did was times 6,400 by a half five times, and I got to 200. So like I said, that means five half-lives have occurred. And each half-life took 20 minutes, so therefore five half-lives takes 100 minutes. So all you need to do now is work out what 100 minutes passed 9 o'clock is, and remember there's 60 minutes an hour, so that brings us up to 10.40. That one was quite hard, but you can work it out. Like I said, just use trial and error to work out how many half-lives have occurred. Practice doing as many questions as these as possible in order to get good at answering the different types of question. Remember when you're reading off graphs to look at, you can read off the half-life by looking at how long it took for the counts to reduce by half, and then you need to read across to see the how long that took. Take into account background radiation because you'll see that the graph line will never actually touch the x-axis and that's because background radiation exists and remember but that comes from things like cosmic rays, x-rays, rocks, um, just general stuff really. And remember half-life is actually the amount of time taken for half the radioactive nuclei to decay. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you want me to talk to any more questions and I'll see you soon.